Hello everyone, Aiden Starfang here with a June through August channel update. And I know I've lost some subscribers with my inactivity, with my absence. Um, I've tried doing some other projects like the Chloe project on my totally successful Starfang Presents Plus channel. I've been doing some vlogging or vlogging on my second channel, which does have a few more subscribers. It's still a moot point because it's not that many, but uh, it's fine. Whatever. I'm not going to lift it. Look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, um, I I believe in quality over quantity. So, you know, uh, I'm not trying to get known or famous. Uh, I'm grateful for every one of you who subscribes and actually enjoys the content. And if there's some changes you like to see or you know, maybe some games or whatever that I haven't covered, uh, you could always leave a suggestion. And I either can or can't or will or won't. And, the le you know, the least you can do is at least try, right? And the, the, the worst I could say is no. So there's that. So don't be afraid to make suggestions. Um, so I want to get on with what I was going to do. Um, I have gone through <laughs> since my last update or really last video game activity on this main channel, I've gone through two, two Windows 10 PCs. And that's, and, and by the time I had lost my last PC, I was able to wrap up the ending of Morgan's Drag Race Season 2. Because fortunately I had all the other episodes to that season um, produced and uploaded to the YouTube channel. So it's been kind of hectic. I lost a lot of the, the well, I obviously I lost the Skyrim Damn Thief playthrough. If I redo that, I'm going to do it on Xbox. In fact, I think every Skyrim playthrough from here on out is going to be on Xbox unless it's going to be something that requires me to play on PC, like um, a mod that requires a Skyrim script extender or finesse or something like that. Um, I want to do... A new Skyrim playthrough. I want to do a new Leisure Suit Larry playthrough. I want to do... Which Leisure Suit Larry? It's either going to be 3 or 5. I don't know when I'm going to get back to 2. I'll do it when I do it. I had more fun with 3 anyway. I'm going to do Dragon Age Origins. I'm going to stream that. I'm going to do a whole playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Because that, in my opinion, is the best. Well, it came out in 2009 at the end of 2000s. So we're in the 2020s. So I don't know if it can be counted as modern anymore per se. But I look at that as like the staple, like the best example of a modern, and I'm using air quotes here, Western RPG. It's amazing. Awakening was a great addition, and then you got Dragon Age 2, and it just kind of went from there. Don't get me wrong. I like the grittiness and the characters and bits of the story of Dragon Age 2, and the setting was interesting. It lost all the charm of Origins. Okay? Like, I like it for what it is. Same thing with Inquisition. They had a chance to take Origins and say, you know what, let's do what we should have done with 2 in Inquisition, but they didn't. It's a pretty game with pretty music and graphics and interesting characters, but it's not the same as Origins. So, I'm going to do a playthrough of Origins. I am going to show off... A very new Sims 4 expansion. Mm, well, not expansion, but a game pack. Very, very, very soon. We're going to have more uh, Morgan's Drag Race. Little special for Redemption. That's coming out soon-ish. I'm not going to give a permanent date because people will be like, where is it? Where is it? Very soon. It's not going to be four episodes like Last Redemption. It's going to be like an hour-long mini episode all the queens are going to get 
to do stuff, and it's they're going to have a lip sync battle royale to determine the final three. Um, and then season three will come out probably August ish, maybe. I want to try a, a Space Quest playthrough. I've never played that game. I want to try a Zork playthrough. I know I was trying around with Zork, Re Return to Zork, and I was just like, oh my god, I. What am I doing? That one is surprisingly hard. So I'm thinking like Zork 1, Zork 2, Zork 3. Those ones are hard, but I guess I used to play them all the time as a teenager in the 90s that I just remember it. Although sometimes I have to go back and fetch a guide. Let's see, there's some other games, some old school games I was thinking about playing. Hmm. So I want to try different things on my channel because I'm sure some people probably go, oh, he's playing that game for the millionth time and only everyone plays New Vegas and blah, blah, blah. So I want to do some different things, maybe like some classic PlayStation games I can stream on my ps3 let's see like uh xenogears maybe or fighter maker or rpg maker uh we got indigo prophecy for the original xbox we've got san andreas we've got honestly i have so many different ones but those ones i mentioned a new Skyrim playthrough, which would be Anniversary Edition for Xbox. Leisure Suit Larry 3 or 5. Space Quest. Uh, one of the original Zork games would probably be Zork 1. And Dragon Age Origins. And Morgan's Drag Race doesn't really count as a playthrough. It's a project that's always been on this channel, but that is coming soon. So I think I'm going to start Dragon Age Origins sometime tonight. And I will post out a Twitch link on my Twitter and you can all come in and watch me play and you know lose I just I love that game so much I just really do just bear with me when I start getting cringy because that game is just like oh nostalgia but is it really nostalgia if it really if it holds up like if you hold it up to Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition and probably the fourth one that's coming out I mean it in my opinion, a lot of people's opinions, it's just, it's still, it's still the best. I mean, the original KOTOR and KOTOR 2 is better than the Old Republic. It's, they're just microtransactions. I mean, and that's really does. It's a modern, it's a, it's a Western gacha game, basically. It's fun. It's fun as heck, but you could strip down all of the, all, all eight of the class uh, playthroughs in the Old Republic and put that in a offline single player game make that kotor 3 and then just bring iokith and or ilum which that happens immediately after than the other ones as like dlc expansions i know we hate that but that's the age we live in this shit started ages ago with like morwen they gave us a uh, tribunal then blood blood moon and then there's other stuff so if, but I'm going off topic. Um, Chloe season three for people. I'm sure there's people who got a kick out of that. It's an experimental project. I'm not done with it. There's other things coming. I have a movie coming out that I made years ago. It's called Reality Life. And I just barely about a month or two ago finished making it into an actual movie form. Because it was on my second channel for years and years as like... Um, individual episodes, but I spliced them together, edited some things, made some new scenes for it, so it's like it's it, it's, its own self-contained movie now. And uh, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say, oh, you'll enjoy it. I, it. It's different. It's not meant to be some mainstream, oh, look how cool this is. It's just a project. It's an experiment, just like Chloe is an experiment. And I don't know how long I'm going to continue those things for i'm just testing the waters of different mediums i'll probably just upload them to this channel because my Starfang presents plus channel it's like i have no subscribers so why why bother at this point but i'm going to promote it here and on twitter 
and I'll I'll put out that Twitter link for Dragon Age Origins, and hopefully uh, people will watch 